Now we're going to go to the third part of the warm-up sequence. Now the third part is to work on your hips because in the golf swing there's a lot of motion that goes on with the hips. We need to get those hips warmed up ready to play. So we'll start by standing on one leg. So start by standing on either the right or your left leg. You can use your club for support if you like and slowly go down and try to touch the floor or the grass or wherever you're standing and then come on back up. So that all the weight is on this one leg and you're bending from this hip joint again, down and up, good, and down and up. And you want your other leg sticking back behind you so it looks like this. You go all the way down and up and down and up. So we'll do it three or four times and down and up. We never put this other leg down. We're always on this one leg. In this case it's my right leg. So now we start to swing the left hip joint. So we can start to get a nice easy free flow and swing going and then we'll kick it up four times. Ready? One and two and three and four. Okay so now I've got stability in my right hip and flexibility in my left hip. So now we're going to do the opposite for the other side. So standing on your left side, slowly go down, try to touch the ground, slowly come up. All the weight is on this left hip, okay? And left leg down and up and down and up and put your right leg behind you to give you a little bit of balance. Down, up, and down and up. Okay, now keeping all the weight on this left leg, start to swing the right leg. Get all the hitches out of it. And then we'll kick it up four times. Ready? Here we go. One and two and three and four. So the idea is to go up a little bit higher each time. Sam Sneed at age 60 could kick his feet above his head and there's no reason why we can't either. So that's the third part of the exercise in terms of getting warmed up. Stay tuned, the fourth one's coming up.